And that's why you always keep a fire extinguisher in your vehicle. What's up, everybody? My name is Scott. You're watching Kentucky Ballistics, and it's Full Auto Friday. We're back out on the range, and for this Full Auto Friday, we're going to disable a lawnmower. You seem to really like it when I did it with the 458 SOCOM, so today we're going to do it again with an AK-47. A little bit dusty today. I know what you're wondering. Scott, did you really go buy another brand new lawnmower just to shoot it with an AK-47? And the answer to that question is no. No, I did not. This is the same mower from the 458 SOCOM video. It just had to be repaired. And as you can imagine, it cost a lot to repair that mower. So I want to say thank you to Sportsman's Guide for sponsoring today's video. As you can see, it's starting to be beautiful outside. So that means there's going to be lots of outdoor recreation to be had, whether you're into hiking, camping, boating, fishing, recreational shooting, anything, Sportsman's Guide's got you covered. And make sure you use coupon code KBALLISTICS. It'll get you $20 off any order that's $100 or more. Now, let's see if this mower is truly fixed. Let's test it out a little bit. All right, so first we got to see how this thing holds up against some nasty eggplants because nobody likes eggplant. Man, that went far. Let's see what you got. Well, that's one way to do it. Eggplants, that's easy. But what about these giant red cabbages? I don't know. Oh, I think we broke it. Not done yet. You know what time it is. It's time. <laughs> Whoa! What a perfect cut. Oh man. <laughs> All right. Well. Whoever fixed that mower, they did a really good job. So before I blast this thing, I'm gonna say something I don't feel like I should have to say, but I'm going to anyways. I'm a trained professional on a private shooting range in a controlled environment under the supervision of professionals. Please don't try anything you see in this video at home. That's one way to shut off your mower. Okay, so we have a lot of holes through here and well, I don't know if we had any go all the way out the back. Let's flip this thing a little bit. No, it doesn't look like we had any pass through the back except for up top here. Let's check the bottom. The 458 SOCOM definitely did more damage with just 10 rounds than we did with 30 rounds just then. Flip this up. Ah. We chewed it up pretty good though. Now I'm gonna turn it sideways. We're gonna hit it one more time. I tell you what, my repairman's really got his work cut out for him. Go get the fire extinguisher. Uh oh, better go get the fire extinguisher.
And that's why you always keep a fire extinguisher in your vehicle. Well, that escalated quickly. I hope you enjoyed this Full Auto Friday. If you did, do me a favor and hit that like button. And if you're not already subscribed to Kentucky Ballistics, hit that subscribe button. Also, make sure you hit that bell for notifications. YouTube doesn't always notify you when I upload new videos. The bell's not a guarantee, but at least you tried. Also, make sure you're following me on Patreon, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, and check out Kentucky Ballistics Clothing. Links to all those are in the description down below or on my website, KentuckyBallistics.com. Again, my name is Scott. Thank you so much for watching Kentucky Ballistics, and I'll see you next time.